I use mathematics and computer simulations to really look at multi-scale mathematical and computational methods for evidence-based public health policy. I model the immune system and how it interacts with pathogens and then look at how that translates to transmission of infectious diseases between hosts. What's great about it is that then you can look at a problem from many different directions in mathematical modeling and, and computer simulation, and you can bring all that together for the pandemic H1N1. We would try to see, could we try to predict when the peak of the epidemic would happen and what the magnitude of the peak is, so that we get an idea of uh, how many hospital beds will we need, how many flu vaccines will we need at a certain month. We try to quantify the variability around that so that we can give information back to public health. I mainly teach first-year students that are, are not math majors, so biology, chemistry, engineering, so that they can really see how math is applicable to their, their field that they're trying to pursue. When I teach math, even in first year calculus. I always try to give a real world example. Having lots of people around with different expertise means you're always learning, you're bringing in new tools into your research, and it really helps advance public health knowledge and advice to government and decision makers so that we can have a healthier population.